Back in the day, it was called leaving somebody hanging. Now it's called ghosting and it's happening in the workplace. We are turning to our resident ghost buster, Andy Challenger, a Challenger Grand Christmas. Andy, what is going on with ghosting? You and I talked about this a while ago and now it's happening with employers, job hunters and employees. Let's start with employers. Why do employers not get back to job candidates during the interview process? process. Yeah, ghosting is this phenomenon that's moved from the dating realm into the workplace at such a quick pace. Uh, most of us associate it primarily with Gen Z, but it can extend to every generation in the workforce today. In fact, a new survey from Indeed found that about one of every five Gen Z workers say they've been ghosted by an employer that didn't show up for a potential interview, or even about 23% that say they've been given a verbal offer for a job, but then the company never followed up. So employers certainly are part of this uh, ecosystem of ghosting that's happening in the workplace today. What should the job seeker do? Yeah, unfortunately, I think this new reality of the job search is something that job seekers need to integrate into their calculus of how hard they have to work and how long they're gonna have to work to find and secure a new job. Uh, this amount of ghosting does also come with a lot more access to opportunities that are listed online today. You can quickly apply to, so hopefully that evens it out a little bit. But I would say you do have to make sure that you understand that you're only in control of what you can be in control of. And this ghosting isn't a reflection of you or your worth in the job market. What about job hunters who do not follow up, but instead ghost the prospective employer during the process? This same Indeed story found that 93% of Gen Z respondents say that they have ghosted an employer on an interview or not showing up for a job where they've accepted, signed a contract, and had a first day where they were supposed to show up. Uh, that is concerning, I would say, to job seekers out there. Uh, your reputation can get ruined in a flash. And it's important to follow up with commitments that you made. Those types of uh, mistakes that you make early on can carry with you for longer than you would hope. So I would recommend you really try to meet your commitments or at least give some advance notice to the employer whenever possible. What about employees that decide just not to show up for work and instead they ghost? How bad is that for somebody's career? Yeah, if you miss that first day of work and never tell your employer, uh, it is going to follow you around for a while in a much different way than missing a phone interview or a Zoom interview or even an in-person interview. If you've signed a contract, you and tell the employer when you're gonna show up and then you never let them know that you've decided to take another job or not take a job at all, uh, it's gonna be bad news for your career. So it's something I would seriously consider not doing if at all possible. Thank you so much, Andy. We're glad that you are here. Thanks for having me on, Andy. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.